Hello students, and welcome to the King's University College Open House. My name is Dr. Derek Silva, and I'm an assistant professor of criminology here in the Department of Sociology. My research and my teaching tend to focus on social harms and inequality, and the projects through which we craft to alleviate them. This has led me to research in fields such as terrorism studies, and more recently in the field of sociology of sport where I continue to do research and teaching on issues of exploitation, of labor, and of systemic discrimination in sports and sporting culture, and what sports can sort of tell us about social inequality, harms, exploitation, and violence. I teach the sociology of sport, third year class, sociology of catastrophe, terrorism. I also teach in the critical security studies module, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. I also co-host a podcast called The End of Sport, where I seek to explicitly mobilize the knowledge that I've gained in my research and in my teaching. To this end, I've also published in places like Time Magazine, in The Guardian, in The Chronicle of Higher Education, Jacobin, and The Daily Beast on a variety of harms in the sporting world. I'd like to talk to you today a little bit about the, so the Department of Sociology and our offerings, and what you can expect as a potential student going forward. So in our Department of Sociology, we are broken into sort of two disciplines, and that's sociology on the one hand and criminology. We offer two separate programs across um, a variety of modules, which we'll talk about in a moment. We are a Department of Sociology, and we focus on um, social inequality and social harms in a critical way. So in, in terms of the broader spectrum of um, research and teaching, we focus on critical sociology and criminology. So students can expect a sort of critical take in all of our classes. And that's the sort of um, tie that binds all of our teaching and our research together here in the department. We're a very large department here at King's. We have 14 faculty members um, across a wide span of both sociology and criminology. So our modules are either um, sociology or uh, criminology, and you can take either a major, an honor specialization in one or the other, uh, or you can use or have sociology or criminology as a minor. If you would like to um, be a major in either sociology or criminology, in your first year, you will take Introduction to Sociology, or 1020 or 1021, E. And if you'd like to major, you need a 60% in that class to continue on in your second and your third year. If you would like to honor specialization, which is an additional set of courses that you would take um, and an additional expectations in those courses, um, particularly when you move on to the third and fourth year, you need 1020 or 1021 E. The E designation is simply um, a, a paper designation. Um, and you need 70% in that class, plus you need no failures across um, your first year. If you would like to add sociology or criminology as a minor, you need to take 1020 or 1021 E and get a 60%. This won't be hard for many of you if you are interested in the field of sociology, social inequality, um, critical research methods, or a variety of other things that we offer in the department. I'd like to talk a little bit about some of the courses that we have to offer um, at each level. So you'll notice the 2000, 3000, and 4000 designation. 2000 designation simply um, refers to the sort of um, getting beyond the introduction 1000 level courses, and they're a little bit more specific, and the expectations are a little bit higher. The 3000 and the 4000 designations are for third or fourth year or senior level students, um, and they tend to be very specific, and the expectations are increased, particularly when you get into fourth year. So some of the great, wonderful courses that we offer um, in, in the 2000 level, which you'll take likely in your second year, maybe in your first year, are social problems, uh, sociology of work, sociology of education, a class on race and racism, which can also be used um, to fill your criminology major, sociology of the environment, sociology of deviance and law, which can also be used to fill, fulfill your criminology requirements, 
uh, the family, um, social inequality, sociology of corrections, policing and security, social movements, youth in conflict with the law, and a variety of other courses which you can offer. And remember, you can also take courses outside of King's if they're not offered here, which is a great, great thing about King's. You get the small class sizes, which we love to use in our teaching, but you also get the resources of a very large, large campus. Some of the 3,000 level courses, which explicitly include experiential learning as in some of them, and those are designated here on the PowerPoint, there are a variety of third year courses. Like I said, we have 15 faculty members. We're adding one additional faculty member this year. And because of that, we are one of the largest on campus um, in terms of both faculty and student enrollment. So we get to offer so many interesting, interesting courses. I mentioned my course, Sociology of Sport and, and Physical Fitness. Um, I also teach Sociology of Terrorism, Sociology of Catastrophe, which are um, very interesting and can also be used for a uh, critical security studies diploma or certificate program, which you can take uh, in addition to any um, program here at King's. But we offer a variety of others, violence and cultural perspective, the sociology of gender, gangsters and the mob, neoliberalism and society, surveillance, security and society, hate crimes, um, global health and human rights, the global divide, building healthy communities, um, and a variety of really, really interesting courses that focus on new media like gender, violence, and digital media. There are also three, at least three courses that offer an experiential learning component. Um, and later on, I'll show a video of one of the experiential learning opportunities you do have here in the Department of Sociology. We have three courses, or technically four courses on the books that have an explicit experiential learning component, and that's Decolonization 1 or 2, where you'll travel um, to Winnipeg, um, where the uh, Truth and Reconciliation Commission of Canada was located, um, and you'll also uh, explore the residential school system in a variety of ways. Also, Dr. Jeanette Kumal offers the Building Healthy Communities course, which is a collaborative course with City Studio of London. I also co-lead the American Borders and Borderlands class, which includes a trip to the Sonora, uh, Mexico, Arizona border, and includes a trip across the border into Mexico um, in affiliation with the University of Arizona um, and the Confluence Center for Creative um, Inquiry. Uh, to explore culture, politics, geopolitics, and the sociology of the borders and borderlands, and what life is like living um, uh, at the border of the United States and Mexico. So very, very interesting courses offered at the 3000 level. Finally, the 4000 level courses will include um, advanced seminars in criminal justice policy, theory and methods, sociology of deviance, um, and you can take a critical security studies capstone course. Um, and there's, a, there's always a sort of endless cycle of special topics classes that you can take at the 4000 level. We also have a, a great group of um, critical sociologists and criminologists doing exceptional work here in the department. Um, and you'll get to know all of these friendly faces throughout your time here at King's as we love our small class sizes and our opportunities to really get to know our students. So here is a list of some great faculty doing wonderful work, like Christine Laverance doing work on new media, um, selfie culture, social theory, Dr. Um, Kristen Lazansky doing work on um, migrant workers, labor, tourism, um, and reproductive health. I mentioned Dr. Jeanette Como, who specializes in youth and mental health and applied, she's one of our stats gurus, uh, applied sociological methods. Dr. Jordan Fairbairn um, works in, in fields of um, intimate partner violence and critical criminology, theory and methods, and in digital media. Dr. Liam Kennedy does work with punishment or on punishment, corrections. He's published on the fentanyl crisis. Um, he teaches crime and popular culture. And increasingly, um, him and I are working uh, in collaboration in, in some 
sociology of sport and criminology of sport um, that you might see in the future in terms of a course. Also, Dr. Tara Bruneau, um, who specializes in youth and conflict in the law, dr drugs and addiction. Uh, our newest faculty member, Dr. Justin Tetro, who does work with white right-wing extremism, hate crime, um, white supremacy, terrorism, etc. It's also Anisha Data, who does work with political economy, globalization, neoliberalism, and specializes uh, in South Asia. Dr. Joe Mikulski, who um, works, uh, teaches in uh, the hate crime class, family violence, terrorism. Dr. Valerie Zavilsky, who um, teaches neoliberalism and education and, and teaches about gender and social inequality. Dr. Matthew Yeager, who teaches uh, corruption, gangsters in the mob, um, and has published widely in, in convict criminology. Dr. Don Kerr, who's a resident demographer and, and focuses on poverty, immigration, um, and is also a stats guru. And then Dr. Anna Ning, who focuses on addiction and harm and non-Western medical interventions. So as you can see, we have a very large faculty group that you will get to know in our small class sizes um, and in our close seminars and in our critically engaged and applied work. We also have, like I mentioned, an experiential learning component. And these are just some of the opportunities that you can take while you are here. So there's a couple core, there's a, a couple um, very interesting courses like Building Healthy Communities and the course that I lead called American Borders and Borderlands. So I'm just going to play a very brief clip for you um, that highlights the American Borders and Borderlands trip and, and what you might expect in an experiential learning course in the Department of Sociology. everyone in the Department of Sociology here at King's University College, thank you for coming to the March Open House, and we hope to see you in the fall.